Namaste. Okay, let's get the shadow report messages here as well for this week. What is the shadow report messages? Okay, so we got the shadow. So let's dive into it. What does the shadow want to tell us here, Holy Spirit? I'm going to shuffle a couple times. What is that the shadow wants us to focus on here? Um, what is the message of our highest good for those of us that will click onto this video? Okay. What is it that you need us to see right now during this time here, Holy Spirit? Ooh, let me see. What do we go? What do we go? What do we go? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? I feel like you're really trying to get your confidence back with this shadow report I'm getting. You know, no longer feeling like a victim. Like victimhood is a race. Like victimhood, we're we're tackling that. Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like you're tackling victimhood, but at the same time, some of you guys. It's like your heart is heavy from dealing with so so much bitterness or envy or negative energy, right? Um, your heart is heavy, right? So it's like spirit wants you to release some of that energy and things that you had to come up against in order to conquer them, right? Uh, spirit needs you to release some of that energy, that toxic negativity. Okay, I love it. But I feel like you're really gaining your confidence back. And so whatever you were doing to gain that back, kudos to you. Okay, yeah, there's the rebirth. Okay, so within your rebirth, okay, I don't want you to reject your rebirth. You actually need this so that it can propel you into the next phases of your life, which is celebration and being able to trust yourself in a more, um, in a stronger way, you know, in a, in a way that can help you. You know, instead of hinder you, because there's something about what you knew in the past, like hindering you with this Queen of Swords. I'm, I'm gonna get some more messages, but tell me more of the Queen of Swords here, Holy Spirit. So there's celebrations here. I want to tap into that message as well. Queen of Swords. What is it about, Holy Spirit? What's the Queen of Swords about? With the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles. So this could have been like work, like feeling like unappreciated at work or feeling unappreciated at wherever that you create your abundance, your success, not feeling um, needed or wanted or someone trying to make you feel, you know, emotions that, you know, they just weren't there or something like that. And you kind of holding on to that energy. Um, I feel like you'll be releasing that. But I, I feel like there's some, uh, maybe some sort of conversations or something that needs to be had. 3.23 on the clock when I said that. Like, it's like somebody might need to sit down and have a little talk -sies. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you two do go your separate ways. But I feel like there's it's good because it's like growth and there's understanding. And then, you know, you can, like I said, just pretty much just grow from the situation, right? You can, it, It's not like you want to control the situation. It's just... More like um, you want to grow from the situation, right? You know, Queen of Swords isn't a bad card. Sometimes it can come across a little malicious when it's in reverse. That's why I wanted to really grab the energies. But this doesn't give. This isn't giving me that. You know, it's giving me more of um, maybe needing to have a, a particular important conversation with someone. You know what I'm saying? Um, kind of unsaid emotions or unspoken you know, things that need to just be addressed, all right, for the most part, all right, so tell me more about the three cards for us here, Shadow, what's going on, Shadow, Shadow loves celebrations now, don't get me wrong now, honey, honey bunny, tell me about the three of cups, please, Holy Spirit, Knight of Wands and the Devil, I think, I think the Devil was in reverse and then I just fucking turned it around. Um, I'm really, mm, mm. I'm getting like on some real shit, like go out and have fun. You don't have to like do anything that, you know, you'll regret, but I feel like go out and have fun. Let your hair down. 
do something fun, do something exciting um, that puts passion back into your life. I don't even think this is about going out. I think this is about doing something that makes you feel celebratory, you know, puts you in that celebration energy. You know what I mean? This could even be like celebrating with yourself, Queen of Pentacles. This could even be like a self, you know, or like buying yourself something. You know what I'm saying? Like buying yourself something nice because you deserve it. You know? Some real shit. I'm just saying, the world's ending and, and you just sitting there looking at that bank account. Like, the fuck? go buy yourself something nice. Ten of Wands. I can't make it up. Some of you guys are a little burning, a little stressed out for this um, shadow report. But I definitely see you being able to release those things that were hurting you in two of wands. Something's holding you back. What is holding them back, spirit? What is holding them back? Seven of Cups. Lies, girl, boy, whoever. Lies, honey. That's the only thing that's holding you back, I promise you. These are all fucking mental fucking illusions that you created in your own fucking mind to be true. And they're not fucking true. So during the shadow report for this week, you're, you're definitely going to be breaking down a lot of lies. Whether they be the lies you told yourself or the lies somebody else told you or the lies that they're trying to keep. Whatever the fuck it is, you're going to be getting to the bottom of that, says our shadow. Okay? And uh, I feel like that right there is the, the kicker. That's the kicker right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting rid of all those lies and deception, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Making a firm investment to get, like making a, a firm decision to say no more lies. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not partaking in that anymore. We can't do that anymore. I have to work towards being honest with myself and seeing myself for the true me. Okay, tell me about the High Priestess. Let's get a message for the High Priestess, please. <clears throat> tell me about the High Priestess here. Four of Cups, okay? So there's something that, with this High Priestess, um, there's an offer here, and I feel like you, you want it, but at the same time, I feel like you're afraid. My, I'm, I'm getting the feeling like you're afraid. And again, it comes from unnecessary or or unsolicited or let's just say unworthy thoughts these are unworthy thoughts because if they were worthy you wouldn't be in celebration you wouldn't be having good moments you would, good things would be coming to you if you know what i'm saying but that's how it is a lot of times i'm getting imposter syndrome like you feel like you're an imposter right now because things are going really really well and your shadow needs you to know that things are going really well and Shadow is pleased because you've been making a lot of fucking progress on some real shit. I love y'all so fucking much. I'm not going to hold y'all for this message, but I hope that I was able to help you guys out a little bit here with the Shadow Report this week. Peace.